It's Ron Brown with Tech for Seniors. Welcome to our learning Chromebook series. This is Chrome OS 94 new features. Now you remember the old routine. If you like this video, please click like and we'd sure appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. It really helps us continuing making videos like this. All right, by now you should all have Chrome OS 94. And if you have a Windows machine, you should have Chrome Browser 94. Now remember what we talked about last month, Chrome OS and the Chrome Browser. So if we look at the most popular browser in the world today, of course, it's Chrome. And Google has made a decision that they're going to update the browser every month. So each month will probably have a different number. Currently, we're on Chrome Browser 94 on your Windows machine, and we are on the same browser on the Chrome operating system. So what's happening here? Well, the Chrome operating system is going to skip Chrome OS 95. So November, there will not be a 95 version of the operating system. So we're taking a holiday. Huey and I won't be back in November because our learning Chromebook falls on Thanksgiving Day. Plus, there won't be a Chrome OS 95. What's going to happen in December is Chrome OS 96 will be out and it will be paired with the Chrome Browser 96. And from then on, they should remain in sync. And they essentially are an identical entity, except that the Chrome browser in the Chromebook is built into the operating system. In the past, the two have not quite mirrored up together. One is that the Chrome operating system has been about three to four weeks behind. So we look forward to them both being the same and we'll see everybody in December for the next Learning Chromebook series. Let's see what's new in Chrome OS 94. All right, let's look at some of these great background pictures on my Chromebook as we discuss the new feature in Chrome OS 94. Now, there aren't a lot of new features. The main one is the uh, upgrading of the Select to Speak feature on Chromebooks. Chrome OS includes a nifty accessibility feature called Select to Speak, which is essentially a screen reader with some additional features. It uses the option to hear the text on the screen and highlight parts of the text to improve focus. In addition, it lets users control the speed of the reading voice and jump to different parts of the text with ease. Recently, the Select to Speak on Chromebooks is now available in multiple accents and in 25 languages. Today, we're going to talk about this Select to Speak feature, but there is also a feature called Chrome Vox. Chrome Vox is a continuous speech recognition feature. This is available on your Chromebook with enableization and has been around for many years. It has, has its own unique set of commands and is easy to use if you want continuous speech recognition. There are many videos on YouTube that describe the usage of this. The key commands are a bit different than the select to text or select to speak feature on Chromebooks. This has remained unchanged so today we will be focusing on the Select to Speak feature, which has been recently upgraded on Chrome OS 94. All right, let's find the Text to Speech feature in the Accessibility menu. Notice the cursor is coming down on the right-hand side, and we're going to come to our Settings menu. As we come up here, it'll come to the top right. Here's our Settings menu. Let's click this. And then we're going to scroll over to the left to the advanced section. Click this. And we're going to come down. 
And here's our accessibility menu. Let's click on accessibility. And this brings up our accessibility menu. Now the first thing it says, always show accessibility options in the menu. You'll see that I have my accessibility feature turned on. Now let's go back down to the bottom right hand corner and come up to the menu and you'll see that I have the accessibility feature in my main menu. How did that occur? Well, that's because I have the feature turned on that I just showed you. So let's go back now and let's go and go the long route around. We can again um, click on the bottom right hand corner. You'll see our accessibility. If we click this, then we actually have all the features of the accessibility menu right there at our fingertips. Pretty cool. Even additional settings. But we're going to come back and we're going to come to the settings menu again and we're going to go the slow way over. Let's go over to the uh, left and you'll see that we are in accessibility. Now let's look at our manage accessibility features. Today we're going to talk about the text to speech feature which has changed in Chrome OS 94. Let me just explain the menu. We're now in the accessibility area and what we're going to be looking at is the text to speech feature. This is pretty cool and very interesting. So this, um, the first thing you're going to see, enable Chromevox spoken feedback. If we click and enable this, you're going to hear a little beep. Chromevox spoken feedback is ready. And enable Chromevox spoken feedback. Pressed. We're going to turn this off right now. I'm going to recommend that you don't use the Chromevox feature in your Chromebook at present. Chromevox is a program that was um, that has been available in Chromebooks for many years. It is a separate program that was created for accessibility. It has its own features and key commands that requires some education and it is um, it works very well but it is a different program than the one that comes with your current Chromebook so I'm going to suggest if you have any learning disabilities or you have any problems in which you need to use um, text-to-speech all the time then Chromevox probably is an excellent choice but you would need to take a bit of a course on it to learn how to use it. There are many videos on YouTube that explain the details of all the commands for Chromevox. But let's leave that off for now. Where you're going to want to go is enable selection to speak. We're going to turn this on. And then we're going to come down to open select to speak settings. And this is where you want to be. On the left hand side you're going to see that we have the uh, language and we can of course can <laughs> we have a lot of different languages um, and the device language that we have selected for this Chromebook of course is English but if it wasn't we could select that. We have a preferred voice uh, and we have many different voices that you can choose. Of course uh, we have English and we have uh, Dutch, we have French and so on and so forth. Um, and this is the, um, the natural voice that you can choose and I've chose English Australian but you can choose again there are many many different uh, English voices that you can choose uh, that will be uh, used in your speech recognition. Uh, and you can also preview them which we'll do in a minute by clicking play. Hi there, I'm your text-to-speech voice. All right, let's go over this one more time. I'm going to show you how to use the Select to Speak feature on your Chromebook. Let's go over the settings one more time. The language is going to be set to your default language that you have on your Chromebook, which is most likely English. So you really wouldn't have to change that. Uh, you then have your preferred voice, uh, which of course 
uh, in our situation would be English. So we'll leave this at English, but you can change this. However, within English, there are many different types of dialect. I sort of thought it was interesting to have a bit of an Australian accent. So this is sort of cool. So our natural voice that you're going to hear is the uh, is going to have a bit of an Australian accent. And we can preview this as we've done and played it. Hi there. I'm your text-to-speech voice. All right. Let's see how this works. There are five ways to enable select to speak feature when you're looking at your Chromebook. Let's have a look at how this works. But first I want to make sure everybody understands what the search button is on a Chromebook. And here's what it looks like. All right, now let's look at our uh, Chromebook now. I've brought up an, an article. This is an article by Lifehacker and it's 10 helpful Apple Watch health notifications everyone should observe. So let's have a look at how we're going to have this work. So we're going to come down to this particular paragraph of, and it starts with, uh, of course, you should remember the Apple Watch. So we're going to enable this in five different ways. So the first we're going to do, this is step one, we're going to press and hold the search key and then select the first line of text. So I'm going to hold the search key down and I'm going to click the very first letter called of and watch what happens. Of course, YOU should remember that the Apple Watch cannot replace your doctor or certified medical devices. It's a useful tool to alert you about potential health issues, and you should use this data to decide whether it's worth visiting your doctor for further advice or treatment. That was pretty cool, eh? Now just remember, what I did there is I held the search key, and then I just selected the first line. I just clicked right where the O is of the of, and it played the whole paragraph for me. All right, the second way we can do this is we're going to hold the search key down and drag the pointer over an area of the screen. So we're going to choose what we want. So I'm going to hold the search key down and drag this over the first two lines. Of course, YOU should remember that the Apple Watch cannot replace your doctor or certified medical devices. It's a useful tool to alert you about potential health issues. Now in that particular situation it did uh, went back over and it read the whole paragraph. Now the third way is we're going to highlight the text. So let's highlight, let's see if this works. We're going to highlight the text and then we're going to put the search key plus S. So this is where you've highlighted something and we're going to do search plus S. Of course, YOU should remember that the Apple Watch cannot replace your doctor or certified medical devices. It's a useful tool to alert you about potential. And in that situation only read the highlighted part that we uh, identified. Now the uh, fourth part is uh, if you decide you want to uh, use this and you on the bottom shelf as we come along you're going to see a little button like this. It looks like a speaker but this is the select to speak button. So we're now going to click on this button and then I'm going to come up and we're going to select the f text that we want to have read. Of course, YOU should remember that the Apple Watch cannot replace your doctor or certified medical devices. It's a useful tool to alert you about potential health issues, and you should use this data to decide whether it's worth visiting your doctor for further advice or treatment. Now, uh, as you saw when it was reading back the information, we have a control box at the bottom here. And in this control box, of course, we have the button to continue. We have a fast forward. We have a full fast forward reverse. But we also have... Um, this little box here, a button, and we have options for playback for speed. 
So if we really wanted to speed this up, maybe you're breezing through an article, we can actually have it read much faster. Of course, why you should remember that the Apple Watch cannot replace your doctor or certified medical devices. It's a useful tool to alert you about potential health issues, and you should use this data to decide whether it's worth visiting your doctor for further advice or treatment. So that was pretty fast. But I guess if you're going through an article, you could speed it up and you can slow it down just by the menu at the bottom here. So there are four ways of enabling the Select to Speak feature on your Chromebook. You can press and hold the search key and select the line of text. You can press and hold the search key and drag the pointer over the area of the screen. Or you can highlight the text and press the search key plus the S. And the fourth way is to select to speak button on your shelf and then select a line of text or drag the pointer over the screen. Now the fifth way I'm not going to demonstrate, this is on a touch screen and at the bottom you can, uh, bottom right near the timestamp, you'll, you'll uh, select of course the uh, button for select to speak, then tap the line of text or drag your finger over the area you want spoken. So that's when it's in tablet mode. It's Ron Brown, Chrome OS 94, new features. Hope you've enjoyed the video and please remember the like and subscribe. If you like the video, click the like. And if you want to see more of these, please subscribe. Until we see you again, have a great day.